well, yeah, we are going to go through Deckard's a little bit. Deckard, I think, is very important. I love his voice. The prophecy of the end days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Kane. Jared Kane? It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world. Written by many different people throughout history, in many different lands. All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past 20 years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. One more thing, Mad King Leoric. Diablo drove Leoric to madness. He tends to do that. Leoric resisted Diablo's attempts to possess him, but the effort left him weak and confused. When his son, Albrecht, was kidnapped to be a vessel for Diablo, it destroyed any sanity Leoric had left. And after he became the Skeleton King? He commanded an army of the dead deep within the cathedral, finally serving the Lord of Terror he had resisted while alive. Yeah. Many adventurers tried and failed to slay the Skeleton King. It was left to Leoric's eldest son, Aiden, to finally kill the monster his father had become. So once again, you didn't do anything. Aiden did it. So Aiden, son of Leoric, killed Leoric. I don't remember them saying, hey, it's the prince. Don't remember that at all. Yeah, that's just me. Shut up, healer. You're crazy. Oh, shit. Where did I grab that? Equip that. Okay, that can be sold. 5.6? Yeah, no. No, no. All this can be sold, most of which I accidentally picked up. That tends to happen in this game. You just pick up stuff accidentally. I don't mean to, but... It, it just happens. Once again, won't be buying anything because I'm already up to 18,000, which is way too damn much. Uh, we are getting to the point where we can actually... Yeah, I'm not interested in taking a look. Uh, you'll notice that the blacksmith is gone. It, his name was Hadrig Eamon, so this is actually the quest in which we can get him, uh, which is why I didn't think you could do it before. I'm not interested... I don't think I need to talk to the mayor. So this is how it ends? They dragged my cart from the road, but for what? I can't get it repaired. Might as well dig a hole and die in it. And then you would rise as a shambling corpse and find my blade buried in your skull. You still live. Make the best of it. Yes, you should. Actually, there's a place over here that I haven't gone. So let's go. Oh, Kane's house. It's probably important. He's probably got something good. Got some scrolls or something for me. I don't remember Kane's house. Oh, now I remember Kane's house. There is a book over there. Actually, it doesn't... When I hit alt, it doesn't work. Damn it. Okay, his journal. We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety. But I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the burning hells can be found here. You'll notice that when I did sell stuff to the shops and that kind of stuff, that I didn't sell anything with that was blue. That is important. You don't want to do that. Here we find another artisan that I won't be using. Blacksmith, Decker King said you could help me find the crown of the orc. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? I'll do it. It is regrettable, but it must be done. I will help you. I like this guy. Thank you. Follow me. The barbarian is quick to kill anybody. <laughs> Should you just give him the hint that he needs to. I like that. Cellar of the damned. And now I got the blacksmith on my side. That's kind of cool. I already passed it. There it is. I have to smash the door because these guys all turn, of course. I'm not. Kill them. Kill them all. Are you still working on the one guy? Is the saber going to be good? I don't know. I'll check it. 
I'll check it. We're still at the point where some of that stuff is still useful to me, but a lot of it is not going to be. My love, forgive me. Should I do it? Wait for it. And she's turned Mira Iman and she's stunned. Hammer, 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 dead. <laughs> oh god, I love it. Okay, uh gloves. I don't think I have gloves. No, I have gloves. Actually they look like I equipped bracers, but whatever. And I think I need this as well. Now well it's blue, so I want it anyway. So you happy about what we just did? I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. Hedrig, I need your aid. I must find Leoric's crown. Again. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. And I believe that's an optional quest to get his apprentice. But we do get... A new couple items. Oh, three pro five. That sucks. Is this good? Plus one vitality increases golden health pickup. Um, plus life, but less life per second. I think I do want that. Uh, this is new as well. Yeah, I go back and forth. Well, that's kind of iffy. The, the black mushroom is very important. I don't think I ever got one before. I hope that I'll be able to to show off what we can use that for. I have not done it before, uh, so I can't guarantee that I will be able to do it, and I think a lot of it is random. I will do my best to be able to do that. I'll look it up and everything, too. Uh, and he runs off, and we have our next destination, which is north through the gate over here. There are a lot of exits to New Tristram. Is there... What is down here? Is there anything down here? Uh, there's the ferryman. Okay, we don't want to use the ferryman just yet. This is still our base of operations. He will take us between acts, if I remember correctly. So let's just go out the northwest northwest gate into the Weeping Hollow. And we've reached another checkpoint. And I don't... Hmm. This place I remember slightly. Uh, oh, that's right. This, these guys everywhere. I remember it more by the enemies. How sad is that? Because it, it is kind of plain to me. Uh, one criticism that uh, actually Buttercross and I went over a few times in our run of uh, Diablo 2 uh, of the game is that it doesn't have the light radius anymore. And we did like the light radius. It, it does add... Not necessarily our survival aspect to the game, but it felt fitting uh, for a game like this. And for, to have them take that away was uh, kind of disappointing for us. Yeah, that was our crap. Always good to check every once in a while, though. Just because there can be stuff that is... Oh, new lore. During the last days of King Leoric's reign, even the skeletons of the ancient dead could not rest. They took up their broken armor and weapons once more, ready to cut down anything that yet drew breath. So wasted and fragile, these creatures possess a twisted cleverness that makes them quite formidable. And we got another level up. You do kind of explode when you get a level up. And it does do damage. I do like that. Uh, we did get a new skill. Something there is locked. We got a new primary skill. Actually, we didn't get a skill. We got a rune. Here we're going to finally learn about how the runes work. Should I go for bash, um, I can stun the enemies instead of knocking them back if I put on clobber on bash, but that would take away cleave. And I like cleave a lot better, so I'm going to leave it on cleave. Uh, you don't have to change it. That's, that's something that a lot of people, I guess, did not catch on to that you don't have to change it you just can keep your setup the way that it is and this is how you start getting builds you can see that there were a lot of different runes there each one does something different so you can combine that between your four skills as we have scavengers here to kill the scavengers are ugly pathetic creatures who survive off of carrion and corpses too diseased to attract any other carnivores 
I did once meet a raggedy fellow who claimed that he had trained one of the beasts to bring him large rats to eat. What? But I'm sure the story is utter nonsense. Yeah, that sounds like crap to me. Yeah, Cleave does most of the work. I don't need to use the hammer or anything else very often. At this level, Cleave is pretty much where it's at. Now let's go back over here. And we have a special Gruel the Ghastly Stun. Hammer, 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 hammer. He's nightmarish. Holy crap. Oh, shit. There's still things I need to kill here. Okay, there we go. New record. Okay, mending gloves, minor health potions yet again. What are, what are these gloves? They are not that great. So much for that. And then that, yeah, that's that. And then the, the mushroom I should probably store in town when I get a chance. That is, uh, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to spoil, but that is, that is an entirely optional thing. It requires multiple items that you can find throughout the entire game. I've never been able to do it. Sometimes you need to do it through multiple difficulty levels in order to find all the, all the items that are required for that. So, I will be doing that if I can. But it's uh, similar to the cow level. I'll put it that way. It's it's not the cow level, but it's it's that kind of thing. So hopefully, I can get that done, but I can't guarantee it. So let's just continue on and try to take on these guys. Nothing too difficult. Um, to be honest, there really isn't anything that difficult in normal for me. Uh, Based on how I typically build my Barbarian, I should be good. Uh, should I find the equipment to, to build him properly, I should be fine throughout the, the rest of this. And we find these guys again. God. <laughs> Die! Yes, they do. Ooh, Masterwork and Keen Gloves. Masterworks are usually pretty good. So this is a simple dagger. Masterwork, 8.2. It actually does more damage than our healing staff. Or, sorry, our healing axe. Uh, five, five, four, ugh, God. 10 armor is pretty damn good at this game, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Like I said, I will eventually start cutting trips back to town out, but I have not needed to do that yet, so no point in cutting things just yet. But once we start doing it, it does get a little bit repetitive, so I'll, I'll start cutting those out. Uh, I'll do the first couple ones. I'll show you how to craft, which isn't that difficult, but uh, it will use all the blue items that I have been saving. I uh, do recommend that you save those as well. I think he exploded and actually killed the guy for me. Thank you. Yeah, Cleave does most of the work for me. Den of the Fallen Level 1! Oh, so it sounds like we're going to have multiple levels to this. Very nice. Usually multiple level ones have very nice loot in them, if you can find them. Uh, sometimes they don't spawn, uh, from what I understand. There, that every time I go through this game, the random factor not only determines the layout of the dungeon, but also uh, what smaller dungeons you can find on the field. As a way that I understand the game. Um, part of me likes that, the other part of me says, how many times do I have to play your game if I want to just find everything? And that's too much. Carrion Nest! They brought that back! I was able to trace some carrion bats back to one of their nests. What I found shocked me. Oh. The nest itself is a living organism. A mature bat that has been mutated by the darkest of magics. I no longer doubt that demonic forces have corrupted these creatures. That was a hell of a knockback that that elite had. And I got a new axe, 5.2. I don't think it's actually very good. It just gives me holy damage. So I think I'm going to leave it. Uh, I will I will do something with that. Once again, you, you don't sell blue or, or yellow items. We haven't come across a yellow item yet, but should you find it, don't sell it. Uh, there's a better purpose for that than selling. Even though it does sell for quite a bit of money, usually, you'll, you'll find that. Crafting is really what you want to do with it. 
So that's what I'll be using it for. God, this place is huge. <laughs> As you might expect from something that starts with level one. How am I missing this thing? Oh, great, I'm lagging. Super. Here is the first lag spike of the game. I am sure it will not be the last. I'm really hoping I don't disconnect because of this. If it does, I might just stop the session, to be honest with you. Can I pick that up? No. Can I do anything? Are we just going to sit here until I lag out? Like, seriously. I was doing great, Diablo. <laughs> I was having fun. Can I stomp? No. It doesn't even take off Fury. Are we ever going to come back? I have recovered from this before. And can I do anything? What is it? 5.4? That's no good. Alright, so nothing to do there. I don't think there's anything that I really wanted to talk about. In terms of something that I maybe missed. Oh, achievements. Uh, I don't want to go over those because some of them are going to be spoilers. Wow. What the hell, game? What the hell? Now, I would do something to get out of here, but I can't do that. Yet. Wow. I, I've i never gotten lagged this bad without it just plain kicking me out. Um, maybe if I just leave and come back, it'll do something for me. So let's try going the other path this way. Maybe eh, it clears it's clearing out the map again, so... Maybe... I, I don't know. Oh, there should have been an enemy by now, shouldn't there? The hell? A dead end that leads literally to nothing. Now I don't know if that's lag or if that's the actual design of the dungeon. Thank you, randomly generated dungeons. That... It feels like I should have encountered an enemy by now. Just going around in a giant circle. I've never been able to explore this much before without there being an enemy. Yeah, we're still lagging. Jeez. Um, wow, I don't know what to do at this point, so I'm going to cut it here, I guess. And I'll meet you back at the new Weeping Hollow when we come back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, we're back in the Weeping Hollow. I did have to leave the game and start again, so unfortunately we're going to have to go through this a little bit, um, even though we have kind of already been through the Weeping Hollow a little bit. But as you can see, it looks very much different. Uh, it is randomly generated, of course. Give me more magic find. That is always appreciated. Clean taking on these skeletons. Uh, th yeah, it... It ended up um, kicking me out about a minute and a half later, and I actually had to leave. Uh, I had to exit Diablo 3 itself and restart that, and then it worked fine. Um, why that would happen, I don't know, but that's what happened. Broad Axe. I think that's two-handed, though. I'm not a big fan of two-handed. I do much prefer the two weapon build I don't know if that's actually better or you know with cleave I don't know if that actually stacks but cleave is working fantastic for me so I have to believe that I'm actually using wow eight killed with one blow that is pretty sweet if I must say so myself uh, I don't know if cleave actually does calculate both of the weapons whenever I attack. I think it does based on how much damage I'm doing. You know, I'm doing 12, 13 when I hit these guys. And that would probably be both of the weapons instead of just one. Alright, stomp so you guys don't run away. The mothers tend to run away. Yeah, 11, 10, 11, 12. That, I assume, would be... Uh, God, look at that blood splatter. <laughs> that, I assume, would be both weapons. Oh, shit. Didn't even see you guys there. My bad. Broadaxe is one-handed. Damn. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. I think only a barbarian can do that, though. But it is nice when I can get it. And then this one is nothing. 
Uh, I think it actually gave me all the items that I had when I, when I picked them up last. It's just that the map has now reset. That is the only downside to that. 